In this video, you'll discover how to find hot, hot leads with LinkedIn Sales Nav. Then find their emails and LinkedIn profiles, then write messages that get at least 10 meetings every week. Let's start with finding those leads. Be sure to subscribe if you learn something new and ask me anything down in the comments below. It's me that's replying. Despite what anyone says about their database, ZoomInfo, Apollo, Snowvio, the most accurate source of B2B data comes from LinkedIn. So that's where we'll find our leads today with Lemlist's Chrome extension. Here's a quick breakdown of how to do it. First, create a campaign in Lemlist. This is where we'll send the leads later on. Then install the Lemlist Chrome extension from the Google Store. Open the extension and link your Lemlist account with your LinkedIn profile. Click the extension when you're on a profile to find data like name, company, and contact info. For SalesNav though, we're not going to find leads one by one. We're going to find the name, company, and contact data for over a thousand people at once by applying lead filters in this window here. Before importing, adjust your import settings for enrichment and duplicates. Choose the Lemlist campaign you want to add your leads to. Finally, click import these leads to add them instantly into your Lemlist campaign. Now, for that's a little too quick, let's go step by step. Let's create a campaign called Tell Sales Nav Leads first. With the extension, you can import leads with comprehensive details like occupation, company size, and even phone numbers. Then in Sales Navigator, use the filters to narrow down your search. The more filters you add, the more targeted your search will be, which is good. It means you can be more specific when you're writing your emails. For this search, what I'm going to do is add founder, geography, and one or two other things. You can filter leads based on whether they've posted on LinkedIn, for example, whether a company your lead works for has buying intent, whether they're following your company, or whether they've changed jobs recently. Why is this relevant? for finding warm leads? Well, if I reach out to someone who's already following my company or who's viewed my profile recently, they're 80% more likely to engage with my outreach. You can even find leads who have potential interest in your product category. This is a new feature from SalesNow. There's over 30,000 categories, so you can find your niche. Leads interested in search engine optimization software, for example, or marketing software, there's a lot of those. For people that might be interested in Lemlist though, we can add sales engagement platforms. Once you're done, click import, and it will start to push every single lead to your Lemlist campaign. You don't need to worry about confusing tools anymore like Phantom Buster or manually adding data to your CRM. In terms of duplicates, the extension smartly updates existing leads instead of duplicating them, ensuring your campaign stays clean. You just have to click that little button just there and you're good. By clean, I mean you won't be prospecting the same person over and over again. Check your campaign after a few minutes and your beautiful leads have arrived with all this extra info we can use for personalization. Ta-da! <laughs> Along with a URL to their LinkedIn profile, meaning we can quickly check their profile for personalization, and do multi-channel campaigns. Campaign steps with emails and LinkedIn steps are 40% more likely to get those delicious replies. Mwah. Now you've found your leads, what do you need? That's correct, you need valid emails. The most important part if you want to do any kind of prospection at scale. That's where you click on the big button just here and choose find verified emails. Tools with cascade enrichment like Lemlist will find on average 80% of valid emails versus an industry average with other tools of around 30 to 60%. In a few minutes, you'll have a complete list of emails. Importantly, you can filter out the undeliverable and risky ones before you launch your campaign. So you only send to the deliverable emails so you don't kill your domain health when risky emails bounce and so you don't land in spam folders and miss out on meetings you would have actually booked. You can even automate this to only send to deliverable emails by toggling this button in the review section. Now for the fun part, the emails you're actually sending out. We're going to do two campaigns, two for the price of one. One super simple three-step campaign, we'll aim for one to five percent with this one, and then one personalized multi-channel campaign with emails and LinkedIn connections and LinkedIn voice notes because you can automate all of those from within Lemlist. For this, we want five percent plus. We'll keep it simple with the three-step email campaign. This will allow us to do a a lot of volume, around a thousand touch points per week. Let's think really carefully then about what we've filtered. Founders in very small startups, less than 10 employees. We've potentially added job changes, so they might be new to their role. We've also added posted on LinkedIn recently, so we know they're active there. The question now is, how do I work out what to write in these emails? Well, here's the secret. You can use this ChatGPT prompt, which I go through in this video just here, or just up here. Then you can use any one of these templates. Pause the video now to find your favorite, and be sure to check the videos in this playlist for my advice on writing killer cold emails. The important thing to take from the chat GPT prompt is the problems your ICP faces, plus the solutions you provide, and then what you can provide to your leads for free at scale. An example for these leads we filtered is this email just here just up here. Once you've chosen your favorite templates, put them into your campaign and write your emails. Or you can obviously just add ones that you've used before. Here's the structure I'll use for the campaigns. Now, until you're getting comfortably one to 5% positive reply rate, you shouldn't be sending more than three-step campaigns. It's essentially a waste of emails and you need to understand what works and what doesn't before you start sending really long campaigns. More videos on this in the future, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see them. If you want me to review your emails before you send them out, I can't because I get about 100 requests per week, but I can 
if you want to do a live email teardown with me so everyone else on the channel can benefit. If you're interested, comment down below. They're good fun. Here's the example campaign that I've put together so you can see what it looks like. First email A and B focusing on problem one. Follow up email A and B focusing on problem two. And then a third breakup email focusing on problems three, four, and five. Then stop, send that campaign and adjust based on the results. Easy peasy. Hold that campaign just there though until we adjust the settings a little bit later on. For the personalized campaign then, we're going to have a similar approach, but add a LinkedIn connection request, a LinkedIn voice note, and more importantly, room for personalization in the first email. For that, you can use this guide on how to personalize written by Beck Holland in the description down below. I like to personalize here in the review section. The rest of the email is ready to go. I just add a few finishing touches. For the voice note and LinkedIn message, don't overthink it. Check this video just here on messages to add in LinkedIn connection requests. They look something like this. You can choose your favorite one. Essentially, you have a maximum of 300 characters to send a message, so you got to keep it short. And for the voice note, make it less than 20 to 30 seconds. Make it real and make it pretty much what you write in your emails anyway. Keep it valuable, concise, and don't be afraid to go wrong. Here's my voice note, for example, imagining I was prospecting Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Seen a lot of your posts recently about clay. They're really helpful. Now, you might be scaling Lemlist outbound too. So here's a PDF on how Taplio sent 20,000 outbound emails a month with clay, bringing around 200 fresh meetings. After an extra $3 million ARR in Q1, they actually had to hire more salespeople. Hope it's useful. Now for the final settings in both campaigns. I'm going to A-B test here too, obviously, and add a couple of days in between each step. Don't forget to adjust your settings up here to turn Turn off open rates and click through rates. You don't need them. And set your sending limits to 30 emails per day per email address. Any more and you'll get blocked. Now, those are my numbers. You might get away with 30 to 50 if your reply rates are around 15%, but why risk it? Now, what I'm doing here is called inbox rotation. That's how I'm able to get a thousand touch points per week. Seven emails, 30 emails per day, 210 emails. Multiply that by five. Bingo, you have a thousand plus touch points without getting banned. Final thing then is to check your deliverability. Don't miss this out. As I said, I don't recommend sending more than 30 emails per day. That's warm-up emails plus personalized emails plus follow-ups. A lot of people ask me that question. Get yourself a warm-up tool like Lemwarm. Make sure your technical setup is perfect by doing a deliverability test like this one I'm leaving in the description below. Then what you can follow is this comprehensive guide lovingly put together by our support team. Now you're ready to launch your automated campaign. Get some personalization done for the other campaign and send those one by one. Then you just got to wait for the stats to do the talking. Don't be annoyed if it doesn't work first time. It didn't for me either. Make sure you only check change one tiny thing in the A-B test. The subject line alone, for example, can change the stats 5x like it did in one of my campaigns. Then within a few weeks, you'll see which books the most meetings and you'll be able to improve all over again with what you've learned. Before, you had no leads. Now, you have over a thousand warm leads ready to be prospected. All thanks to Lemlist. Well, and a bit me for showing you how it's done, obviously. Subscribe for more prospection guides and ask me any questions in the comments below.